excited for our upcoming concert Gershwin and Shostakovich. Well, this one is quite a workout emotionally. So you have Gershwin, the American composer, and of course on the opposite side, Russian Shostakovich. Me growing up in Germany, I was really aware of living <laughs> in this little country between the two between the two superpowers and between also two um, intellectual superpowers if you want to say so Gershwin grew up in the beginning of the 20th century and he really composed for Tin Pan Alley he was a Broadway composer he reflected that light-hearted American style and um, light-hearted American soul that is just joyful and fun. So the beginning of Rhapsody in Blue is very iconic. It is played by the clarinet, by the first clarinet player, and he has to figure out a way to create this immense glissando that goes from the bottom F all the way to the B. And on the piano I will do a, like a glissando, but he, he kind of bends it all the way up. It's really fun, so let's, let's hear it. I'm cheating. And then he plays this very famous melody. You know? And here the fun thing is lots of chromatic, but then Gershwin actually omits the downbeat, the one. So yim ba 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 ba. And you kind of wait for it, but it doesn't happen, which is jazzy. It's you expect something and he plays with it. It's like a little joke. It's fun. And that's the beginning of the Rhapsody in Blue. And the clarinet continues with little trills. It continues then in the horn. And again, he kind of moves around between the harmonies, chromatic. But the interesting thing with Gershwin is, and I must say, similar with Mozart, he creates melodies that you can sing, that you can whistle. And that's a gift. Come on. I mean, you must admit. <laughs> dum bum bum bee dum bum. And if you kind of are careful, you know an airline, I won't say which airline it is, but there's an airline that uses that as their marketing material. <laughs> because it's so catchy. And he was a genius in this. All right, now the beginning of the Shostakovich 12th symphony is very different, but immediately you are drawn into the soul of Shostakovich, right? It's also in a way one instrument, like the, sh the, the um, clarinet in R Rhapsody in Blue is one instrument line. Now here, listen to this. That's the Shostakovich beginning. creates this melody only in the violoncelli and the basses, unison, one line, and you can't really sing it, but it's dramatic, it's heavy, and it's unison, one line, and after 20 seconds, the first and second violins and, and, and violas come in and it goes like this. kind of goes right away into thick harmonies. D minor. And a little bit dense harmonics that immediately make you understand, all right, it's not America, that's not Broadway for sure. It's a very different feel, but it's deep and it hits you right there. And that's again this beautiful thing about music. It makes you feel, and it goes really deep, and it's amazing. All right, so there you have it.